Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Hello, good morning, friends. Here, I would like to introduce myself. My name is Natasha Sofia Nizamro. I am 10th grade of Madrasa Aliyah Nalatul Arifin Abulu. Today, I am going to tell you a story entitled The Legend of Pramanan Temple. Take this out. Once upon a time, there was a great kingdom called Pramanan. The people lived in peace and order, but then Prambanan Kingdom was attacked and occupied by the Penking Kingdom. Prambanan then was ruled by Badung Bondowoso of Penking Kingdom. He was a mean king. He also had great supernatural power. His soldier were the only human, but also James. The king of Prambanan had a beautiful daughter named Roro Jumna. Bandung Bondoso fell in love with her and wanted to marry her. Oh, Roro Jungram, you are so beautiful. Would you be my queen? Asked Bandung Bondoso. Roro Jungram was shocked. She didn't like Bandung Bondoso because he was a mean person. She wanted to refuse. She afraid that Bandung Bondoso would be angry and endanger the people of Prambana. Then, she came up with a plan. If you want to marry me, you have to build a thousand temples for me in just one night, said Roro Jumra. What? That's impossible, said Bandung Bondoso. He didn't give up. He consulted with his advisor. Um, your majestic and ask the genius to have built a thousand temples, said the advisor. Yes, your suggestion is correct. Prepare the document I need, said Bandung Bondoso. After the document is ready, Bandung Bondoso studied in front of the stone altar. His arm was spread wide. Army of Jails, help me! He shouted in a booming voice. Then the sky turned the drug. A moment later, the Jenny drops has surrounded by Dumbo What should we do, sir? Asked the Jenny leader. Help me to build a thousand temple, said Bandung Bondoso. The gym immediately moved to row, carrying all the respective duties. In short time, the building of the temple has been composed of almost a thousand pieces. Meanwhile, Roro Jumra quietly was from distance. She was worried, knowing Bandung Bondoso was helped by the janitors. Wow, how is this? said Roro Jumra in his heart. But again, she came up with great idea. She asked all of her servants to help her. Please, please, hurry up! Prepare a lot of straw and water! Please, hurry up! said Roro Jumra. Burn the straw and make some noise pouring the water. Quickly, quickly, hurry up! All those servants did what Roro Jumra ordered. Burn the straw and pouring the water. Doom, doom, doom. A tinge of red shone into the sky accompanied by freezing stones. May the genius think that the sun is going to rise. It's already done! We have to go! said the leader of Janice to Bandung Bondoso. The jinn immediately stopped their walk and ran for cover from the sun. Bandung Bondoso can stop the Janice from leaving. He was disappointed to see this. He was furious. The next morning, Rora Juma tried to see how many number the temples were. One, two, three, 100, 700, 900, 99. Hey, it's 199 floaters. So it's mean you can marry me, said Roro Jumram. She was very happy because her trick were success. Bandung Bondoso was angry. He knew Roro Jumram had just tricked him. You can fool me, Roro Jumram. I already have 199 temples. I just need one more temple. Now I will make you the 1000 temple. He pointed his finger to Roro Jongram and said some mantras. 
Magically, Roro Jumrong born into into stone. Until now, this temple still exists and are called Roro Jumrong Temple because it is located in the Prambanan area of Central Java. Roro Jumrong Temple is known as Prambanan Temple. Okay, friends. From the story we will learn first, don't cheat, don't cheat because it will harm to ourselves. Second. Don't be a tricky person because you'll get a punishment. Okay, guys, I think it is enough for me. Thank you so much for your attention. Wassalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Alhamdulillah.